From the first time she encountered a group of Marines, Laura Sullivan knew she wanted to join them. It was the hardest working group of people and the most enthusiastic group of people I had ever met in my life. And they were committed to something so much larger than themselves. Um, and I couldn't wait to be a part of it. After college, she received her commission in June 2001. Three months later came 9-11, and suddenly the world had changed for her and her fellow officers. Many served multiple tours. Uh, the first combat casualty of the Iraq War was uh, a friend and classmate of mine killed in Al-Nazaria in March 2003. And many of my classmates, you know, didn't come back the same way. Sullivan served in Japan and Korea before doing a tour in Iraq in 2005, just after the second battle of Fallujah. We were um, doing operations in and around the city of Fallujah, um, making sure people had the resources that they need, working alongside the Iraqis to reconstruct the city. Uh, providing combat logistics support. But it's one of the kind of best and worst experiences of, of certainly of my life, you know. Um, the, uh, you're, you're touched and, and changed in a way that, you know, I never could have predicted um, by the people that you serve with, by uh, the courage, by the selflessness, by the integrity. Now, Maura Sullivan wants to bring that Semper Fi spirit to Capitol Hill. In the Marines, nobody ever asked what political party, you know, we were a part of. I mean, people barely even asked where we were from. You know, we had a mission, and it was to work together and accomplish that mission. Uh, and that was supporting and defending the Constitution. In Portsmouth, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.